Hello everyone, this is Hunter. Today I'm going to talk about the alarm function. This function is mainly designed for tips the user to take some measure when the HMR is alarming. So following let me introduce how to set it in the PI Studio. In our software there are two types of alarm for it. One is a beat alarm and the second one is the wall alarm. Same with the data record, its configuration is on this area. Bit alarm we can new one by click add. And the first one is filling the bit address. After we fi finish it, then we can select the group number. This group number is a filter for alarms. We can set the different group or set the same group. This number will be used in the alarm display or run bar. Then is this record bit alarm. It means whether you want to record this alarm in the table. Not save alarm off means whether you want to record the alarm is dismissed. It will save the dismiss one by default. Alert is for control some bits when the alarm is triggered. For example, if this HDDX 0, 0.0 is triggered, I can set the output Y0 to off. And this beep function is for us to well enable the beeper sound when alarm is triggered. But please notice that this beeper sound is small if you want to make make beep better use the external beeper to alarm. The next one is the, the content. We can display the alarm content in the long bar or alarm display. Here here is for set the alarm condition just on and off and this is the alarm screen when the alarm is triggered we can pop up some sub screen when the alarm is triggered so uh, this is our the main setting of from the bit one. As for the word alarm, it is generally similar with the bit. So uh, we just set the different settings. So first, we need to set the name alarm name. Here is for us to write the name of war alarm. This is the um, monitoring address. So, is for example I set is HTW zero, and uh, here is for set the HTW zero data format. And this is also the group. So for the alarm condition. We can set to the high, low, equivalent, and range. High alarm is for set to the upper limit. If monitoring address is higher than this upper limit, then the wall alarm will be triggered. The low alarm is for set to the lower limit. This equivalent is for set to the address is equal to the setting value then it will be alarm this range is for set the when the monitoring address is among this range then this alarm will be triggered they are all can be set to the available limits so uh, the left the setting left are same to the bit one, so we can skip it. So after we setting is finished, we can 
click reset and exist. As for object part, there are two objects available for alarm. One is the alarm record display and another one is in here the run bar. So for the table it is generally similar with the data record display. But for alarm we can customize the table head which is the fourth row. So for example if I don't want to display the ID so I can delete it and just to display the occurred time and the current value alarm test and the reset time and I, then I can click OK to, to save it so we can see that this preview display is turn this, its ID is disappear And uh, another another one different setting is this um, alarm type. We can set as history one and uh, the current. Current means uh, this alarm when uh, this alarm is triggering, then it will record into this table. So once the alarm is turned off or dismissed, then this record will be disappear and uh, for the history one it can save all the records as long as the alarm is being triggered before it will not disappear like the current alarm and you can use some like the function switch to export the history history record so uh, we can we can use this function switch and we will see that the, the uh, option available for this alarm record then we if we want to export the record we can to to enable it so last let me run this demonstration and then us know how it works so we compile and run it as offline simulator so we check the current alarm first so if I press this bit switch we can see that it will record into this current alarm table so if I release this button then it will disappear so but for the history one, then we can see it on the alarm record is saved into this table now. So same to the word alarm, it will save into this table. And if I dismiss this word, and it will disappear again. So this is our only content I present today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.